All right, we ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, cool. Uh, right now, we're going to cover hashtag printing. Okay. Hashtag printing is one of those mythical activation style technologies that everyone was really excited about, but didn't quite take off in Australia in the kind of way that it did in the US. This is for a few reasons. Uh, the US is, is larger. They adapted the technology a lot uh, quicker. They have a lot more people there. What happened in here in Australia is that it didn't quite take off in the way that people wanted it to. And then marketers saw it as a really cool thing to jump onto and be like, oh, let's have hashtag printing because if people use the hashtag and uh, put posts on the internet with our hashtag, we'll trend and then that'll get the name out there. In theory, that works. In theory, it definitely works. But there are a few things you need to keep in mind in order to make that really work. We have marketers coming to us and saying, hey, we want a hashtag printer. And one of the biggest issues that we have is that there is no support. The hashtag printer is simply a tool. It, all it is is technology. And what you need to do is you need to get the word out there. And uh, you can do that in a few ways. Number one, you can run pre-advertisements for that hashtag. So just say you're doing a, a stall somewhere in store. You want people to use that hashtag and you're doing it nationwide or something like that. What you want to do is run a Facebook ad campaign uh, promoting that hashtag and letting everyone know that the hashtag can be used in store to print out your photos. Now this is super important. This is really, really important that something is done before for the event if you want that hashtag to be successful. It doesn't have to be a huge activation. If you have a gala ball and you want everyone to use the hashtag at the gala ball, you might want to just advertise that to all the people going to the gala ball by sending an email to everyone or using your Facebook pages or whatever social channels you have and letting everyone know. That is probably the most important way to get the word out there. Number two, when you're at the event, it's not enough just to have the hashtag printer there and signage. Signage, unfortunately, doesn't actually help. If you have an easel with a board up there, it doesn't help. It's cool to have that kind of display there and it does help in some kind of way where, you, where people are like, what hashtag do I use? And they just point at the sign, but you can simply do that with, I don't know, a printout with your hashtag on it or some other kind of signage, a, an easel or with a board, it doesn't help at all. If you wanna make it super successful at the event and you've kind of been lacking with the pre-advertisement of the hashtag is you wanna have several staff. And I mean like at least three or four staff and you want to be telling people that they can use the hashtag to print out their photos and get them on the spot. Now this is really important. You need to have trained staff that know what to say and they're gonna say something along the lines of, did you know you can print out your photo? Look at this and show them an example of a printed out photo and just be like, look, here, take a photo with your phone, uh, hashtag it with this particular hashtag on Instagram, make sure that your profile is on public and then it'll come up on the screen and we can print it out for you and that's you know super cool that is number two number three i would say the second most important way to get your hashtag out there and to get the most use out of your hashtag is to have it announced on the day publicly somewhere you need to get the most is listening to the point that you want to get across, which is, I want you to use my hashtag. So if you're at a gala ball, if you're at some kind of event, you really want someone with the PA, with the microphone, to announce, please use this hashtag. We have a super cool hashtag printer. It's over in that corner. If you use this hashtag and upload to Instagram, you can go over to the station and have your print uh, on the spot. We've done this at events and it's been really, really successful. And so that's probably the second most important one that I would ask you to do for you because you want this hashtag out there. Point number four, one of the mistakes people make when they have the hashtag printer, they kind of expect things in the room or in the area to be exciting enough 
to take photos of and share uh, on Instagram and using that hashtag so they get the printout. Make sure that you also think about how pretty the photos are going to look to the people to make them actually want it, to make them want to post and then print out. If you're at a gala ball or if you're at an event and it is super cool and it's, it's interesting. You take a selfie and it looks cool. But sometimes wherever you are, if you're in a shopping center or if you're you know, in a warehouse, the chances are your, your photo is going to look boring. So what you want to do is you want to create an area that encourages photo taking. You could use a backdrop, uh, you could use a photo booth backdrop if you really wanted to. You could use some kind of floral backdrop if you wanted to, that's also cool. You could use uh, mascots, so if you have someone dressed up in a banana suit or something like that, you can have people taking photos with that. I've seen minions running around and that was, you know, a super popular one. People were taking photos with minions. They're the things that are going to encourage people to use the Instagram printer. They're going to use the hashtag uh, to print their photos out because they're going to want to see the photo. Okay, now I'm going to move on to uh, just a few things that I think you need to know. Just little tweaks just to make sure that you're getting the most use out of your hashtag and you know what to uh, expect when you're using your hashtag. This is a difficulty that people have. Uh, they don't have an Instagram account. What you can do is you can sign up and uh, have a specific Instagram account where you post people's photos and then it'll automatically print off. That's okay, they'll get the printout on the day and you know, your branding will be on the, on the print template. But you know, as far as digital spread, it doesn't go very far. You can get them to sign up for an Instagram account, but you, then again, if they're signing up on the spot, they're probably not gonna have any friends and the digital spread it uh, doesn't work anyway. So, uh, you know, that's up to you whether you want to start an Instagram account yourself specific for that event or get them to sign up for an Instagram account. Another difficulty on the day is uh, some people have their profiles on private and hashtag detection cannot detect the hashtag if your profile is on private. Sometimes when you're explaining to them, oh, you know, this is a hashtag printer, you can use this, you need to say, you have to take your profile off private if it's on private. And then they can simply put it back onto private if they really want to after they've posted their photo and received it. So you're at an event and you just say you hire a photo booth and you want to post to Instagram from that photo booth. Now, there are a lot of softwares that allow you to do this. You can post up onto Instagram via an iPad. The problem is, is that if you have a high volume of people coming through the photo booth and they decide that they all want to post to Instagram using the third party software and your hashtag, the algorithm will pick up that there's a high volume coming through. Uh, not only that, coming through a third party party software. That hashtag comes at the risk of being ghosted by Instagram. You don't want that for your hashtag, especially if you're at a large event and you want to get the word out there and there's like hundreds of people that are going through the photo booth and then they're, you know, typing in their Instagram account with that hashtag on the on the iPad or the third party. You look for it later on Instagram and then all the photos are ghosted and they're not there and there's no spread at all. So this is where hashtag printing comes in play. This is all organic. Everyone's taking photos with their phone of themselves and they're uploading it to Instagram themselves. So it's all organic content and that way it won't be flagged because you're not using a third party software. When you choose your hashtag, it should be something really specific to you and your event. If it's a wedding, you can use some kind of random uh, Julie and Dave's wedding 2017 hooray. You can use something like that. But when it comes to your product activation, you want to use something that's specific to you and that's identifiable to you, but not too random. You kind of want it to be enough so the entirety of Instagram isn't posting to that hashtag. I'm using a Canon camera. Uh, just say it's Canon doing an activation. Don't make your hashtag Canon or Canon camera because you're gonna pick up hashtags from all over the world that people post with that hashtag. So you kind of want to make it specific. So in this case, we could do Canon launch 17. You're going to have to check the hashtag beforehand just to make sure that, the, that there's not a high volume of posts being made with that hashtag, but you kind of want to make it so people identify the brand and what the launch is just with the hashtag on its own. 
Okay, everyone, I hope that helped out. I hope there were a few points in there that you didn't know of, that you now know of, and uh, that's helped you along. And uh, you can make the best decision for yourself uh, in what you want for your activations. Hashtag printing is one of those difficult ones because you're solely relying on, on the guests at the event to make it successful. So, uh, you know, every scenario changes when it comes to using a hashtag printer and you kind of want to shape your campaign. Look, if you have any questions, questions for me if you if you want to use a hashtag printer and you're not quite sure what you can do for your specific scenario fill out that contact form below and we'll answer you the best we can and hopefully you'll have a super successful activation with your hashtag printing i'm chris wong thank you very much for watching i'm from open booths and i'll see you in one of the other videos around peace out